don't remember my first memory of drawing. I think I've been drawing for about as long as I can remember. I know when I was about eight, um, my parents cut up a cereal box and stuck in some paper and I wrote my own little story and drew the pictures. I love the pictures in books. Those kind of like glimpses that you just as a child and with Asperger's syndrome that you could like put so much kind of imagination into and attach so much kind of like events into. I'm an author so I write children's books and the new book is Snowdrop the Spike Shuffler. Well, it started with a cutting in the Northern Echo. It was just a little story about an albino hedgehog had been found somewhere in the wild and uh, it had been taken to an animal sanctuary because it would have died. And I just thought, oh, that's a great basis for a children's story. It's always something I've enjoyed, but I never really thought of I'd be able to do it uh, as a kind of career. Well, I first met Jonathan um, at an event called the Vibe Awards. I was comparing the awards night. And this is an event for, uh, to recognise the achievements of young people and Jonathan was one of the winners. And he was recognised because of his art, his, his talent for art. I got his card so that I could contact him and I later sent him some of the pictures that I'd done previously. And he sent me back uh, the manuscript for uh, the book Snowdrop the Spike Shuffler. Um, and you said that um, if you want to do some character sketches, feel free. As soon as I saw the quality of his illustrations and the depth of his talent, it just fitted the story. The style fitted the story. It was exactly what was in my head. It was uncanny. One of the vibes that I got from the book was that being different isn't a bad thing. Being different can be useful to others and that can make you special. It's something that kind of reflects my experience, I think, with Asperger's syndrome, although it has obviously caused difficulties, it's not a bad thing. For example, I don't know if I didn't have Asperger's that I'd have the same focus on drawing. When Jonathan was asked about bringing the characters to life, he actually made a comment which was that he said that he saw me as his Godric and that really touched me. You know, I found that really moving because that hadn't occurred to me at all. Probably one of my favourite characters in the book is Godric the eagle in the book and he becomes friends with Snowdrop the Hedgehog which is very unusual in the book for the very different characters but they only start a friendship because he notices that Snowdrop is different what makes him different enables him to have this friendship that he wouldn't have had otherwise and that leads on for him them to be able to accomplish all the amazing things together that they wouldn't have if Snowdrop had just been an ordinary hedgehog. He's been on the radio, he's been on the telly, he's been at book signings, he's been on stage being interviewed. His confidence has grown. It's a situation I've kind of fallen into, um, luckily. Um, so I've just been trying to like uh, keep up and hope that I'm doing my part. He is now a professional illustrator of children's books. You know, this is, this is a professional relationship. He gets exactly the same royalties as I do. It's a partnership, so he's on his way. Um, what's really lovely is that it's already led to other commissions. So for example, he's been uh, commissioned by Darlington Borough Council to do some illustrative work for the youth service. And I know that he's gonna be involved with NIAS more closely, he's going to be an ambassador for NIAS. I'm in debt to so many people that have helped me out over the years. The opportunity to like represent others is obviously a great privilege. So it's been a great partnership, myself, Jonathan as the illustrator and NIAS as a really supportive organisation that has helped to make the book become a reality. Our working together, me doing the illustrations for the book, it just seemed to kind of like work together to bring a new kind of like um, integrity to the book. I think the idea uh, to to turn Snowdrop the Spike Shuffler into you know into the uh, the mascot for Nias is perfect because that character symbolises the message: don't judge somebody because they're different. Now I think that's perfect for Nias. So it, to me, it's it's spot on, and I'm absolutely over over the moon that that character that I wrote about is now going to send this message out in the North East about the importance of seeing beyond the label. It all kind of worked together because it's because of the different circumstances all this came about and all this was possible and I got to meet Peter and I got to work on this book and everything that's come from it it's just been incredible. Mm -hmm.